Hey guys, today I will show you how to build this mechanism. Don't worry if this looks too small, you can make it in pretty much any size you want. You can make it a bit bigger like this, or this big, or well, you can just go all the way and make it barely fit in the plot if you'd like. This one is only set to wheel speed 2, and it's going about 150 studs per sec, or 1.5 times faster than a red jet. You shouldn't worry about it being too slow. If you turn up the wheel speed, then even the tiniest one I made walks faster than the water. You can easily adjust the speed so you can make it go really slow like this. I can make a tutorial for hand movement as well so it's even more realistic. It doesn't use a pilot seat. It's using a rope to stay upright and rotate. The legs are powered by wheels. Also, it's not even expensive to make. You can obviously put details on the legs. Unfortunately, it doesn't behave as smoothly when at a big scale because the wheels don't have enough torque. Also, the feet start slipping if it's really big. But nonetheless, it still functions pretty well. It's surprisingly easy to make. I will explain how to make it from scratch and in future videos on how to attach it to legs because I don't want this one to be too long. Here I recorded a time lapse for you to see that it's not extremely hard to make. I was doing it all by heart and I easily built five of them in total. The way you connect the parts isn't super important. You can probably see I'm doing it pretty roughly here and it works completely fine, so don't overcomplicate on connecting them together. I will explain how the scaling works after this. Alright, so here I have six scaled versions. This is the smallest one I made, but you can go smaller if you try hard enough. Its size is 0.5, or I like to label it as a equals to 0.5. This means that these two hinges at the back here are moved 0.5 studs away from the center. You can see it's perfectly aligned now. The feet attach to the top hinges. All of them are becoming 2x bigger every time in case you're wondering. The very tall bright green part connects to the torso. This is how they are labeled by size. Also, this size was used for the one at the beginning of the video. The ones in the beginning were this big. 0.55 and this one was a whopping 60. The finished thing only uses about 14 hinges, 3 ropes, a car seat and 2 wheels, as well as some blocks, so it's really cheap to make. And these are the schematics for each side. It doesn't really matter if you switch them up because the movement is the same, so you can just turn on reverse rotation to fix it. It also doesn't matter how far apart they are. Now I'm going to show you how to build a walker this size. The size is a 1. Just follow along as I do. Place three hinges like this. Use 0.5 and scale tool for scaling this. And now move them in by 0.5. Scale these blocks using 0.5 in scale tool. Scale this 1.5 down and one stud up. Scale this one 2.5 up. Clone this hinge and place it where I did using 0.5 in trowel tool. Move it four studs forward and three studs upwards like this. Scale this block using 0.5 again. Now enter 2.5 and scale forwards and backwards. Now rotate it. It doesn't even need to be rotated precisely. Mirror this piece and use 0.5 in scale tool. Make sure it goes through the wheel.
Clone this hinge to the center of the wheel and then move it down by one. Place a block and scale it like you did before and scale it up by five studs. Clone a hinge 2.5 studs upwards and place a block like this and scale it. Now using mirror and scale tool connect it to the other small part. Make sure these dark parts are connected like this. Clone this hinge 2.5 studs upwards again and move it like this. Now save it and reload and you can try it out. Just make sure you turn collision off for all the parts. It should be doing this movement. And as you can see, it's the same exact movement the feet are doing. I recommend a wheel speed of five and turn on reverse rotation. Use this part to connect it to the torso which we will now make. Clone these hinges up by 9.5. Make sure to move it by 1.5 backwards on this side. Don't mix the sides up. And 2.5 on the other side forward. In the end, they need to be aligned, because these are the hip joints. I moved them in by one stud, but that doesn't really matter. Connect it to the long part from before. Place a car seat on top. Place blocks on these four hinges and scale them into one by one by one pieces. For the bottom ones, scale them 4.5 forwards and backwards. For the upper ones, scale them forwards and backwards with 5.5 in scale tool. Now, on this side with the vertical rod, clone the hinge upwards by 4 studs and forward by 2. On the other side, clone it up by 4.5 and with 0 0.75 move it forward. Make sure you did this correctly because it's important. Now we can rotate these parts again, it doesn't even need to be super precise. Now scale the other end back with 5.5 for the upper ones and 4.5 for the lower ones. Now the entire part is in the hinge, which isn't good so it'll fix the legs a little bit, just follow along. Make sure half of the hinge is in the lower leg. These blocks are going to be the feet. And clone these hinges like this. Now place rope like this, so that the feet will stay upright all the time. Set the rope length to 24. 
Now we just need the third rope for keeping the entire mechanism upright. I just quickly placed it here for testing, but I will show you how to make it way longer. Turn collision off for all these parts. Make sure match rotation is checked. And you can make it invisible as well. Now save and reload. Unanchor everything and try it out. Yours should move smoothly just like mine. If something is wrong with it, then you can make all the parts visible so you can see what's wrong and redo that part. Sometimes some hinges might disconnect, so just try placing them again and it should work. With this rope we can't steer and we can't go far, so I will show how to fix that. Alright now let's add the longer rope and steering mechanic. Delete the old one. Make a plastic platform like this, it doesn't really matter where exactly. Place two portals and a camera. Click the camera and move the platform up. I recommend moving it up like 2000. I moved it for only 1000 and you can't go to all the plots with it, because it's not long enough. Once you're on here, place a wood block and clone it down to the plot. Now place a rope, and make sure the first part is placed at the top, and then the second one at the bottom. Now place a seat on here, and place a cake. Delete these two things, and unanchor the cake and the rope. Go ahead and jump down. Now place a rope somewhere on the part between the hip joints and anchor it there. Now for the steering to work we just need to place a wheel here. Make sure a little bit of it is peeking out of the black part, or else it's probably not going to work. Now just key bind it. For forward use A, and for backwards use D or something else if you want. I changed the wheel torque to max and wheel speed too, but you can change it if you need to. Now just save and reload and you should be good to go. And if the steering is reversed, then turn on reverse rotation on the wheel. And if we crank up the speed, we're even faster than water. Now you can go on and, and decorate it. You can literally put anything on it as long as it won't block the movement. Even then, you can just turn collision off. The step height is about 0.75 of A, or 75% of A. So this means that this one can climb 0.75 per step. Anything more and it's going to be like a wall for it. Step size is 6 times A, or if you're looking just at one leg, then it's 12 times A. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can make a tutorial for the bigger ones as well, just comment down below whatever you'd like the most. I couldn't put it in this video or else it would be a lot longer.